<laughs> Hello, uh, I'm Mr. Gardner. I'm Mr. Cotton. And today we're going to be looking at adding a score to our Scratch Maze game. Okay, so to do that we're going to have to add a variable. Uh, we're going to need to display that variable on the screen. And we are going to have to be able to change the var score variable. And there. of course variable is part of a computer's memory, mm -hmm. uh, which stores some data, like a number, uh, but allows it to change. So it is able to vary. To vary. It's yeah. the name variable. Very clever. Anyway, Mr. Cotton, uh, last time, if you remember, we added a couple of fishies, and if we start the game, when we move across, the fish goes away. So what we want to do this time is add some score, but how on earth are we going to do that? Good thing is it is very, very simple to do that. Okay. In, okay. Uh, we've, got, we've talked about it being called a variable, so you'll see in the categories of blocks at the top left-hand corner that oh, one yeah. of them is called variables. Click on that then. Yes, please. There's nothing in there at the moment, <gasps> and that is because we haven't yet made a variable to control. Shall I make a variable? Yes, please. Do not click make a list. Make a variable. Okay. Um, we're going to leave it on the dot for all sprites, yep. and that's um, so that all the sprites know that that variable exists. Uh, and, well, score would be an appropriate <laughs> name, I think, for that. Absolutely. Yeah, so, okay. And you see a Ooh. number has appeared on the stage, and we've got all these blocks on the left-hand side oh, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. orange number. Can I move that? You can move it, and uh, there's other things you can do that a lot of people don't realise. You can double-click it, and <gasps> it will say it's score. score. There's zero. You can double-click it again, and it gives you a little slider. This is just so you can, for test purposes. Or, oh, that's yeah. cheating. It is cheating. Yeah, you don't rarely would you want to use that, uh, or if you don't want to. I think I'm going to go with that one, because then I can see what this number means. Yep. So I'm just going to leave Seems it in a nice bit of space here. Um, right, OK, so... First of all, I think I should just tell you, if you didn't want it to be on the screen, um, you could untick that box. You see where a score is? That's it there, yeah. If you untick that box, it that goes away. Doesn't, uh, it's not displayed anymore, but it is still adding the score up. It's important that you okay. realise that. But we'll leave it on the yeah, screen yeah. for now. They want to know the yeah. score. Okay, so what we've got at the moment on this fish, uh, the code says, when we click the green flag, show it if it's not on the screen already, then if we ever touch the crab, then hide. Uh, but we want to get some points for, okay. for hiding it. So... Uh, we're going to want to drag in a change score by one and okay. drag that into our forever loop. Before or after we hide, though? Does it matter? Uh, actually, the result will be pretty much the same. I'll so, go uh, afterwards then. Yep. Just to... That's fine. Yeah, either way. Um, so that will give you one point if you touch that. Is that it? Do we test it? You, yeah, feel free. That's right. it. Green Simple flag. That. My fish has come back. Yep. I'll move across to my fish. There you go. Look at that. And the score has gone up to one. Perfect. Now, Perfect. this is supposed to be an awesome game, though. So if I wanted, like, a thousand points for each fish, yes. how, how would I sort that out? Uh, well, all you'd have to do, instead of changing score by one on that script on oh, the yeah, left, yeah, yeah, just type in the, over the top of that the number you want it to. Okay. So type in one hundred. I'm going to get a thousand. A thousand. Okay. Yeah. All right. Enter. All right. Uh, okay. Just move, move my little man back. Yeah. Stop. Start Stop again. Stop and start. Fish comes back. Right, again. And here we go. Oh, but... I mean, that's great. I've got loads of points, but now I've got 1,001. What would have been better is if it had reset the score, maybe, Correct. at the yeah. beginning. You always want to... It's remembered what happened last time, and you yeah. need to tell it not to do that. Uh, so what you're going to need to do as well is you can see back on the variable script on the left-hand side, mm. there is one, and that says set score to zero. Okay. Yeah, so if you drag that in just before our forever loop, so next to the show bit, Okay. So Stop what we're going to say that yeah, anywhere around there. So either before or after the show. Yeah. So all that's saying now is when you click the green flag, set the score back to zero and show the fish if it's not on the screen already. Yeah. And then if we ever touch crab, hide it and yeah. then change the score so by checking 1, that all the time. And if that's it does it. touch, hide, change the score. So if you stop and start it one more okay. time, move, move a little man. Yeah. Stop and start. So there's the score back to zero. Score's back to zero. Fish is here. Move across. Okay, well now what I'm going to do is, oh, oh well I've died, but careless. it's alright, because of what I want to do is get 2,000 <clears> points by getting this, oh. See, that one hasn't worked. No, why not then? So what do we need to do? Well, I think we'll leave that over to our viewers. Very good. 